Hello everyone, it's Dooney Addict 615 and I wanted to do a um, quick video for you. Um, this is not a new bag for me. I have not carried it um, because it still has the tags attached. But I believe this bag was featured on one of the first three days of the 12 Days of Dooney. And um, over the last couple of years, Dooney has allowed um, bags that have not sold out to come back for like day 13 or day 14 of the 12 days. So I thought I would post this one in case anyone maybe ordered it um, or it comes back on like day 13. There will be a video posted so that you have um, an idea about the bag so that you can decide if you'd like to purchase it or not. Um, so this is the Hound's Tooth Satchel. Um, it is in the black and white, um, and it has some tonal darker type grays in there. It has the Dooney metal plate here on the front, and it has both um, handles as well as um, a place for you to attach the strap here on the sides. It does have the shoulder strap here on the inside. It does not have the removable center section, I don't believe. Let me just check that really quick for you. Maybe I should get back in focus. No, it does not have the center removable section. I ordered this, actually um, ordered this bag from Macy's.com um, back at the end of last year. And I purchased it because I had a couple of hound's tooth accessories. I had a sweater, I had a jacket, I had a scarf, and I just thought that this would go really, really nice with it. Um, but I also purchased the hound's tooth tote, which is actually what I ended up carrying um, last season. So on the inside, it has the red cotton interior. It has the Dooney logo leather plate sewn on the back of the bag. And this is the cotton interior. It's not that coated cotton that you find in some bags. I know it's probably picking up a little shiny on camera. That's due to the lighting. It is the actual cotton interior. It has a zip pocket on the back wall. There's my duty registration card. I did register it, just hasn't, haven't carried it yet. And it has a slip pocket on the back wall as well. All collared in um, the Florentine leather. On the opposite wall, which is actually the front wall, it has a slip pocket and a snap pocket. I would call this a medium size bag. Um, it is again in coated cotton. It does have um, the leather tabs on the corners. It has the four feet that are reinforced with the leather um, stripping there on the bottom. And um, this bag, I have another coated cotton bag that I'll be posting another review on and I carried it last year the entire month of February and you'll see why um, here when I post another video. Um, but this is really easy to care for. Again, it's not a leather bag. It's coated cotton, um, cleans up with a little bit of soap and water um, on a cloth. The bag does come with a key keeper. It is the... Um, it's not the leather key keeper, but it does have the gunmetal finish on the tab. So that's my quick video. Um, wanted to get it out again just because um, it's on the. It was featured on one of the earlier twelve days of Dooning. This is the black on black houndstooth satchel. Um, and I purchased this again from Macy's. It was regular two eighteen, and then I purchased it on a weekend um, when I had an additional thirty percent off, which is unusual for a bag in its first season. So anyway, thanks for stopping by and um, watching the video. If you have not hit the subscribe button, please do so. Give the video a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you in another video. Take care.